Hi, I'm Jeremy Roberts and today I want to talk to you about Wonderlist and Wonderkit and what the similarities are, what the differences are and uh, where you might find most value uh, in finding your task management tool. Wonderlist is a great tool for your day-to-day -day task management. You can manage different lists with as many different tasks on them as you like. You can delete those lists, create those lists, and move those lists around whenever and however you like. Wonderkit is like having a whole bunch of Wonderlist accounts all collected together. Uh, consider what you'd have to do if you were starting a new business, for example. You'd have to uh, talk to accountants, talk to lawyers, uh, maybe talk to a web developer about um, website design, SEO, that kind of thing. And those kind of things would separate out into separate lists. But you wouldn't want those lists living in the same area as, say, what you do at home, mow the lawn, uh, do your chores around the house, whatever you have to do for your family day-to-day -day things. Those lists would separate out into separate workspaces within Wonderkit. Now, there's also a big push at the moment, so, and there forever will be, towards mobile applications, iPhone apps, Android apps, even desktop applications as well. Now, Wonderlist, being, having been around for a little bit longer now, um, already has applications for um, web, uh, Mac, uh, Windows, uh, iPhone, iPad, iPod, uh, Android, Windows, Phone, even Blackberry. Wonderkit, being so new, uh, at the moment only has apps for the web, um, the Mac, and um, iPhone. So basically what that means is that if you're looking for a task management application at the moment and you're using Windows Phone or Android um, or on a Windows PC, um, you might want to consider checking out Wonderlist first. Uh, check out the, the um, Wonderkit web app. Um, but in terms of mobile applications, um, stick with Wonderlist. Now while Wonderlist and Wonderkit do both do social, uh, Wonderlist will let you share a single list or as many different lists as you like with any number of people that you specify via email address. Um, those people can then log into their Wonderlist account, see your list or the shared list, um, add tasks, edit tasks and delete tasks or complete tasks as well and that will be reflected across um, everyone else that is sharing that one common list. Wonderkit takes this approach a step further um, given that lists are collected into workspaces, you can actually invite people to join your workspace. That means that they can not only add, edit, delete and complete tasks, but also do the same with entire lists. Now this Wonderkit takes this a step further by introducing concept of task comments and even uh, this like feature as well. So anyone who is involved in your workspace of Wonderkit can comment on any task, provide input, um, show that they approve or, or, or like a particular task or idea, they can add notes, uh, and also Wonderkit has this stream. The stream and dashboard will show you, show each person what is happening across an entire workspace, that is when a task is created uh, or completed, and any comments um, that people are putting into that workspace. That works a little bit like Facebook stream or Twitter stream, anyone within the workspace can post to the stream as well to make a comment generally available across uh, the entire workspace. So Wonderlist is therefore a very private closed task management system where you can have to specify who you want to share particular task lists with. Wonderkit is a bit more public. You can actually specify whether a workspace should be private or public any public workspace can be found by anyone else on the internet or with a Wonderkit account, I should say. That means they can see, they can't see your, all your lists and tasks and things. What they can see is your public stream, public comments. Uh, they can uh, provide input to you, they can ask you questions, you can respond to those questions uh, quite easily. And this is a great way, if you take your example of trying to start a business, you can provide uh, your audience with uh, updates from your task management tool on how progress with the business launch or product launch is going. 
So there you have it, there's Wonderlist and Wonderkit in a nutshell. One last thing I should specify is that if you are just starting out with task management applications, trying to find one that suits you, I'd recommend giving Wonderlist a shot first. It's uh, very simple to get started with, very easy to adapt to, and uh, you can get, get cracking on that, no problem at all. One other thing these two applications have in common is that they're both free. So if you do want to check out Wonderkit as well, no problem just to register for Wonderkit as well and uh, check it out. If you are just getting started with uh, task manager applications, I'd probably recommend giving Wonderlist a try first. It's just very simple, very easy to use and get used to. However, both these applications, Wonderlist and Wonderkit, are free. So if you're not sure which one is right for you, just give them both a shot. You can find Wonderlist at wonderlist.com and you can get started with Wonderkit at get.wonderkit.com and don't forget to check out cloudproductivity.net for tools, tips, tricks and resources for everything to help you become more productive using the cloud.